Welcome to Linux tutorial. In this video, we are going to see how to install Cibo CMS on Ubuntu. Cibo CMS is a content management system like WordPress. By using this, we can able to create our own website and then we can able to manage it easily. Cibo CMS is similar to WordPress. It will work as a backend for your website. Cibo CMS will also allow you to share your media files to your clients so that you can able to set up your own digital signage server so let me show you how to install Cibo CMS on Ubuntu as a CMS software it will require a LAMP server so we will need to set up LAMP server before installing any CMS software so first of all I will update my repositories apt you can get space update now wait for some time now the repositories are updated. Next run the following command to install the package for LAMP server. Now type this command to install LAMP packages. Now hit enter. Now the packages are installing. Wait for some time. While installing the package for LAMP server, it will ask you to set the root password for MySQL. Now here type your root password. and then wait for some time now the packages are unpacking now here you can see now the package for lamp server is installed after installing the lamp server you can start the services now type systemctl space start space httpd sorry for ubuntu the service name for apache web service is apache2 now enable the service and then start the MySQL service system ctl space start space MySQL and then enable the service next we can download this Ubo server package by using duplicate command for that you need to execute the following command now this command is going to download the package for Cibo server now hit enter now the package is downloading wait for some time after downloading the package you can list in your current directory you can see a file called Cibo server dot tar dot gz this is the package for Cibo server so we need to extract it by using tar command so you can type tar space hyphen xz.vf space package name and then hit enter now the packages are extracted now here you can see any directory called cibo cms we can rename this directory Now run the command to move this directory into the document root of Apache. Now hit enter. Here you need to mention the directory name ma space cbo space and then the document root path. Now hit enter. Now the directory is moved to the document root. Next we need to change the ownership for the directory. Next we need to run this command. This command is going to change the ownership for this directory for Apache user and then Apache group. Now hit enter. Next we can create a new directory for storing the media files for Cibo CMS. So you can type mkdir space and then any directory name you want to create. Now hit enter and then now change the ownership for this directory also. Now type this command hit enter. Next we need to run this command 
to open this file now hit enter okay. now here we need to type like this this will enable the encrypt extension for php now save the file and then run this command to create soft link and then type this command now restart the apache service system ctl space restart space apache 2 now hit enter now cbo server is ready for installation next we can open the browser now here type the link as follows now type like this here you can change to your ip address or host name and then the directory name for cbo cms now hit enter now you can see the installation result for cbo cms now scroll down now click next and then here you can see the database configuration if you are going to create new database means you can fill this information or else if you have any existing database you can choose this and then you can fill this information now i am going to create new database now i click here and then fill the information database name database username and then password and then click next next we need to create admin user now type the username for admin and then password and then click next now this is a directory we have created for media files now type it and then click next now you can able to log in to cbo cms type the user credential now click login now you can see welcome page for cbo cms here you can able to see the dashboard so that's all about the installation of cbo cms now you can type to install cbo cms on your machine hope this video is helpful for you thank you for watching